handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Sunland Park here on Sunday it is the 26th of March 2023 gonna look at the stakes races on the program from Sunland including the Sunland Derby but before I get on to that remember to please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world let's look at the stakes action races 3 5 6 7 8 9 and the feature 10th race so quite a few races to look at starting off with third race which is the New Mexico Breeders Oaks it's going for a purse $250,000 race for state bred three year old Phillies here field of six horses going to the main track the distance of ground here of 1700 meters if you want to go but that or the mile 16th trip on the Sunland main track 1700 meters mile 1 16th and I show the diagram it just gives me a second to look down my notes just bear with me my top selection I'm going to go take the number four horse here tis a journey 4125 for me in the superfecta 4125 super top selection of four horse tis a journey three for the by parachute Joel Marr trains one Ken Tohill gets the mount the horse's most recent out and came the 26th February here at Sunland five and a half in the lounge race for 2000 for state breads non too well and the horse won by five and three quarter lengths and stepping up to winners wasn't a problem because this horse settled well from a tracking trip when he got to lead he quickened up nicely at the top of the lane and he went away with it on an all-around good race he's going to a longer trip which shouldn't be a problem i think his tracking ability that he showed last time out should suit him well and you know i think he can run the good race and win on debut he ran new year's day here at sunland five and a half in the state bread main special way he won by three and again on the front and all throughout he quickened up nicely and had a very good race there earning a 53 buyer his workout patterns haven't been half bad most recent workout 50 and one on uh, 31st uh, 34th best workout out of uh, 47 that came the 21st of March so I think he's rearing to go coming here today I'm gonna take him so to recap my selection for the third from Sunland it's New Mexico Breeders Oaks gonna take the four horse tis a journey 4125 in the Superfecta. The fifth race now from Sunland. It's the New Mexico State University Handicap. It's going for a $120,000 purse. Race for four year olds and upwards. New Mexico breads. Field of 11 horses going the distance of ground here of one mile and 70 yards on the main track. One mile 70 here. And then New Mexico. Breeders at University Handicap, whatever this is again. Um, my top selection, I'm going to go with the 11 horse Jet NG. I'm going to go 11 3 1 4 in the Superfecta. 11 3 1 4 Super. Top selection, 11 horse uh, Jet NG. This eight year old gentleman by Mr. Tristy here. Gary Cross trains. Jorge Correno gets the mount. Most recently in the Al Dominguez Memorial here at Sunland, a mile 16th on the 20th of February. The horse finished second by a half a length that day. And he just, you know, he had a bit of an outside trip that day, um, you know, from the back of the pack. He moved a a little bit late but he still needs something more you know he ran okay but he's had better races coming back here to a mile 70 you know back to two turns again which i think he wants i think he can see a strong pace to close up with two back in the state bread allowance race 56 000 at sunland six and a half on the 12th of february he won by a half length and you saw a good pace to close up with um that day he sat back early when he got the lead at the top of lane he took off clear earning a 66 buyer a decent race for him there and then the gems and memorial handicap at sunland six and a half the 29th of january he finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths that day not the best of beginnings that day he was way out of it early on he moved a little bit late but he still needed more trip there and in early December at ZF, six and a half in the Staper Lounge race. He finished fifth by seven and a half lengths. Quick turnaround from the previous race. He just wasn't getting going. His previous race was a week prior in the ZF Championship where he um, finished sixth by 13 three quarter lengths that day. He just absolutely had nothing there. Uh, but coming back here, you know, he, he, he placed in this race last year, closing up from nowhere, had the lead, got caught late. What can you do? But uh, if he would have broke better, he would have won. He's going to have to break well today, but if, if he does, he can win. His most recent work pattern hasn't been half bad. I'm going to use him on the ticket. Don Throw, last year's winner of the three horse, Cheese Trey, um, you know, won the Al Dominguez Memorial here a few weeks ago nicely. Won the Jansen Memorial, won the um, lounge race at Zia with all these horses were coming out of in early December. He, he likes going the two turns. He could be forwardly paced. Watch out for him on the ticket. It also, there's um, a pick four that begins with this race, so use them there. But to recap my selection for the fifth from Sunlands, New Mexico State University handicap, let's take the 11 horse Jet and G, give kudos to the three horse Cheese Tray, 11 3 1 4 Super, 11 3 in your multi race. Um, so we're going to head over to race number six now, which is the New Mexico Breeders Derby. It's going for a $250,000 purse. Races for three year olds here, New Mexico breads. Field of a dozen horses going to the starting gate. The distance of ground here of 1,700 meters, or the distance of ground of mile 16th on the Sunland main track. 1,700 meters, mile 116th. 
my top selection, I'm going to go take the number 12 horse here, still in the trap. I'm going to go 12 2 6 11 in the Superfecta. 12 2 6 11 Super. Top selection 12, and we're still in the trap. This uh, three year old uh, Colt, uh, excuse me, three year old gelding by Proceed here. Todd Fincher trains. Gets Valdez up in the saddle. The horse's most recent outing came in the uh, mile handicap here for State Brides at Sunland, one mile on the uh, 20th of February. And he finished second by neck that day. And he was with them early on. He got caught late, but he didn't go down without a fight. You know, he ran his heart out first start around two turns. From wide poster, he's probably going to leave to get good position. And I think he could, uh, you know, get a good race on the front end to win here today. Two back, he ran New Year's Day at Sunland. Six furlongs and state run main special for, six, six, uh, for 36,000. Winning by five lengths from a tracking position. Again, he slowly moved his way up and he won quite easily taking off clear. 62 buyer. A good race from there. And then on debut early November at, at ZS, five and a half and a in special weight. He finished second by two and three quarter lengths. Not the best of trips that they had to steady a few times, a little bit wide, but he was gaining late. But the winner, uh, George, who who's running back this one today, just had the jump on him late. He's training well here at Zia, uh, three quarters of a mile workout, which you don't see very often, uh, and went 13 and three a few weeks ago, the best out of 18. So, um, you know, I think he's going he, he's going good. Uh, I'm going to use him on the ticket. I think your second likely winner here is a two horse thunderstorm. You know, won the race at uh, the local prep race for this race going a mile. Last time out, first around two turns quite nicely by neck, closing up from mid-pack. Before that, uh, on the 8th of January here in a, in a state-bred handicap, he won by a half length. Again, horrible beginning, but he settled well to go away with it late there. Another very good race. His buyer's up to scratch. He's training well. Watch out for him here today. What is it with all these horses having six furlong workouts? I find it quite weird. We don't do that here in New York. You either go half mile, five furlongs at the most. Um, the very occasional uh, one-mile drill, but... <laughs> You know, six furlong workouts, I just find it a little strange. Uh, but to recap my selection for the six from the Sunland Outs, New Mexico Breeders Derby, let's take the 12 horse still in the trap. Give kudos to the two horse Thunderstorm, 12 to 611 Super, 12 2 in your multi race. The seventh race now from Sunland, it is the Bill Thomas Memorial. It's going for a purse of $100,000. Race for three year olds and upwards, field of seven horses going the distance of ground of 1,300 meters or the distance of ground of six and one half furlongs on the Sunland main track. 1300 meters, six and one half furlongs. My top selection, I'm going to go take the number five horse, who is Dean's List. Um, trust me, I won't. I, I was never on the Dean's List. I'm going to go 5216 in the Superfecta. 5216 Super. Top selection, the five horse Dean's List. It's a um, four year old Colts by Spice Town. Ray Asford uh, Jr. trains this one. Gets Gonzalez up in the saddle. The horse is most recent now and came 20th of February at Sam Houston. Seven furlongs and optional 40 claimer. And the horse from by neck and basically on the front and all throughout, he ran his heart out that day. Took Took off clear late, 88 buyer home, good, good race. Since coming to the um, Southwest, he's really become a great horse. He's going to, um, to, um, New Mexico here today. Shouldn't be a problem. Should see a strong pace to close up with, and I think he ran a good race. Uh, debut in uh, Sam Houston came 15th of January, 7 for Ongs, optional 30 claimer, and he won by one and a half lengths that day, and again, from a tracking trip, when he got the lead, he took off clear, 89 buyer. A great race for him. First start since the 14th of May. That came in the uh, the Jersey Shore at Monmouth, mile 70 on the slop in the long uh, branch stakes. He finished second by a half a length. He just stalked most of the race, and he just couldn't get there, uh, and then he ran last year's Bay Shore at uh, Aqueduct over the 7, where he finished fourth by four and three quarter lengths facing tough horses the winner wits a decent horse uh this horse just wasn't getting to him there and then he actually had a decent place behind morello in last year's gotham uh and then you know before that broke the main at goldstrom nicely and and broke the um and won a lounge race at goldstrom earlier in 2022 quite nicely you know he, when he was in the putcher barn he wasn't running half bad at all since coming to the uh, new barn you know he's still running decent races coming here at nine to five i'm gonna use him i'm gonna single him in the pick uh four so that's my single so to recap my selection for the seven from Sunlands to Bill Thomas Memorial, let's take the five horse Dean's list. Five two one six in the Super, the eighth race co feature on the program. It is some uh, Sunland Park Oaks. It's going for a three hundred thousand dollar purse race for three year old fillies here. Field of seven horses going to the main track. The distance of ground here of seventeen hundred meters, or the mile sixteenth trip on the Sunland main track, seventeen hundred meters, a mile sixteenth here in the Sunland Park Oaks. 
my top selection, I'm going to go take the number four horse. Do it do it the hard way. I'm going to go 4-5-1-7 in the Superfecta. 4-5-1-7 Super. Top selection, a single in the multi-race would be the four horse. Do it the hard way. Three-year-old uh, filly by Street Sense. Bob Baffert trains. Flavian Pratt gets the mounts. Horse's most recent outing came the 3rd of March of San Sanito. One mile in the main special weight, 65,000. Win by nine. Basically on the front end all throughout. Nobody was catching this horse. An all-around good race. Earning an 86 pyre. Made Major improvement off the race before which came the um, 6th of January at Santini on a good main track. Six prongs in a main special weight. The horse been a six by 24 and a quarter lengths that day and was with him early on, then just completely stopped. I don't know if the horse, you know, bled that day. I don't know if the horse just didn't like the uh, the track. You know, it, this horse just wasn't getting it there. Came back quickly after that one by open length, so it was a good sign. But, uh, you know, that was a weird race there. And then prior to that, the starlet at Santini over the mile 16th, the horse been fourth by six and a half lengths that day. Set the pace but then he just had a bit of a tru- trouble trip at the top lane. Wasn't going to get the win, but, you know, just wasn't uh, handling it there. And then on the 25th of November at Del Mar, one mile in the main special weight, he finished second by a length that day. First off the bench, he probably needed the race. He stalked all the way around the race course. As stands, he won that day. Just had to jump on him late and won next start out. This horse, you know, she ran decently, but needed the race there. And then on the 11th of September at Del Mar, six and a half in the main special weight, she finished third by eight lengths that day. Not the best beginnings, a little bit wide, and she was just a little lax a days ago. But she's definitely been on the improve with every single race. Coming here today, training well at Santa Anita. I'll give her a shot. Um, you know, like I said, she's a single. If, I'm going to use her as a single. But if there's one more horse you could use here, it would be the, the five horse, Una Palabra. Um, something about love, I think, right? Or something, the words or something. I don't know. Um, for, it's been quite a while since I've taken Spanish. I have, so uh, pardon me. Um, I'm going to look that up afterwards. Uh, but uh, Heron Hernandez is on this one for Val Belvoir. Um, the the horse's uh, victory in the Arizona Oaks is quite impressive. He won uh, first time in dirt on the front end almost all throughout. Uh, the races on turf weren't bad at all. Coming here today is up in class, but, you know, a 5-1, to one, a possible upsetter. You know, if I play two tickets, I'll go single the one horse do it the hard way and the one ticket. And the five horse, Uno Parabra, uh, on the other ticket as a two deep kind of ticket with the other, with the four or five. But, uh, you know, it's an exciting race here. To recap my selection for the eighth from Sunland, to Sunland Park Oaks, let's t- take the four horse, do it the hard way. Uh, we'll go four, five, one, seven, super. Like I said, if we play two pick four tickets, we'll single the four and one ticket. We'll go four, five, and the other. So, so, so there we go. Let's get to the ninth race now from Sunland, which is the Harry Henson Handicap. It's going for a $100,000 purse race for Phillies Mayors, three-year-olds and upwards, field of nine horses, going one lap around the Sunland main track, which is 1,600 meters around, with a distance of ground of one mile on the Sunland main track. 1,600 meters, one mile here in the Harry Henson. And... Um, uh, Hollywood Park used to have a Harry Henson handicapper stakes, um, usually opening n- night um, towards the end uh, for the uh, spring meet. And, of course, uh, Vic Stoffer used to always do the Harry Henson, and there they go, uh, impression for that race. It was always exciting. It usually run on Friday night, if I remember correctly. Uh, but my... Uh, God, how I miss Hollywood Park. Um, but I think a lot of people do. But uh, my top selection here, I'm going to go take the three-horse flying Phelan. I'm going to go 3872 in the Super Factor. 3872 Super. Top selection, three-horse flying Phelan. Eight-year-old mare by Tail of the Cat. Uh, Chris Zedora trains one. Gets Juarez Jr. up in the saddle. The horse's most recent out came the 8th of January here at Sunland. Five and a half in the Bold Eagle Handicap. And the horse spent a second by a neck that day. And he sat back early. He settled well. He quickened up a lot. He just missed late closing up like an express train. But he ran his hard out cutting back and trip, refreshing here back to a mile where he hasn't run around two turns in quite a while. But I think he can get a good trip and I think he can win. Two back in optional 30 at Zia, six and a half, 20th of December. He won by three and three quarter lengths that day. And from a tracking trip, when he took off clear late, nobody was catching him. A very good run from there. And then prior to that, Zia on the 22nd of November, six sprungs in the Zia Park distaff. He finished third by eight lengths that day. He just kind of stalked. He was a little lax a days goal. You know, probably needed the race there. Also, tougher horse. Horses. And then an allowance race, 34,000 at Z over the sixth, winning by three quarters length from tracking trip. He won quite nicely. Um, like I said, he hasn't run around two turns in quite a while. He, he is 9 and 0 over the trip, but he has three places. Um, most recent around two turns came 17th of June at Rudo, so 
keep in mind Rudo so has a two turn seven furlong track so uh, it is kind of a routing trip to going seven and a half on the mud but Howard going in the lounge race he's been a second by length and he was with them early on he got caught late but he didn't go down without a fight there and then his previous two uh, turn race came at Sunland 20th of February last year one mile in a lounge race where he finished second by two and three quarter lengths again the winner had the jump on him but he was stupidly wide which probably cost him the uh, victory refreshing here at 12 to 1, I think he's loaded. I think the eight horse here, um, Lady Commissioner, is your second likeliest winner. Um, the races on the turf in, in, in um, at Turf Paradise weren't bad at all. Um, you know, we started here once a few seasons ago where he had a very decent, re- reputable uh, place. Coming back again locally, I'll give this horse sh- uh, ticket, uh, a shot on the ticket at 6 to 1. The seven horse Eda, I'm not going to use it on the ticket. I, you know, if she wins, I'll applaud her. But, you know, the, the, the drop down in class, the first starting the year of the year, I just have questions with this one. So I'll, I'm going to go with the other two where I think are live horses. So we have my selection for the ninth from Sunlands to Harry Henson Handicap. Let's take the three horse flying fail and give kudos to the eight horse Lady Commissioner, 3872 Super, 38 in your multi race. The feature 10th race now from Sunland. It is the Sunland Park Derby. It's a great three event going for a $600,000 purse race for three-year-olds here. Fields of seven horses filling up the starting eight, the distance of ground of 1,800 meters or the mile and eighth trip on the Sunland main track. 1,800 meters, a mile one eighth here in the Sunland Park Derby. My top selection, I'm going to go take the number three horse, Fort Bragg, 3156 for me in the Superfecta, 314, uh, 3156 Super, 3156 Super, that was. Top selection of three horse, Fort Bragg, this um, three or called by Tappet, Tim Yachtin trains, Juan Hernandez gets to mount. The horse's most recent out came in the grade two San Felipe at Santinia, mile 16th, 4th of March, first start back in two months. He finished fifth by five and a half lengths that day. He was very wide. He wanted to go. Juan Hernandez didn't want to let him to go, which I think cost him the race. He was never into it early on. I hope Juan lets him run today. If he lets him run... He could win. Um, I think he does his better running style towards the front end. Uh, two back in Los Alfaturity at Los Alamitos, mile, six, mile 16th, uh, 17th of December. The horse finished third by seven and a quarter lengths that day, and he just kind of stalked all the way around the racetrack, had the check a few times into the first turn, was a little bit wide, and he just didn't have the proper trip there. Uh, and then 4th of November at Santino, mile 16th in the main special weight, went by three quarters length, basically from the rail. He was drifting a little bit late and had a, not the best beginnings, but he got the job done, you know, decently there. Uh, you you know, a race he should have won at Santino was uh, the 10th of October race in the main special weight. He won by three quarters length, but because he was lugging in, and also it was wide in the stretch uh, around the first turn from the wide post, you know, he, he got disqualified. What can you do? But that was a very tough um Allowance race there. The winner of Practical Move, um, Moon went on to win the uh, Los Alfaturity, beat him there. Uh, and then on the uh, debut for this horse in, uh, in December at, uh, or September at um, Del Mar over the five and a half in the main special weight, he finished third by five and three quarter lengths that day. Just stupidly wide and not keeping up. But he's another horse. He's been improving with every single race. I would like to see the Juan Hernandez get this horse into it early on. If he does, he can win. I'm going to use him here. I think the one horse had, had did he do it um, or do that? It's your second likely winner for Steve Athens. Uh, not uh, Triple Crown nominates, just keep that in mind. Most recently in the Allison Derby, the uh, local prep race for this one on the uh, 29th of January of the mile, he won- finished second by length, closing up from nowhere, stupid, stupid wide. He ran his hard out there. Before then, on uh, New Year's Day in the Smarty Jones at Oaklawn, he finished fifth by five and three quarter lengths that day, never really keeping up. And then sprinting on the slop at Oaklawn, he never really keep- kept up. It was a quick turnaround from the previous race, so give him a break there. He did win the Zia Park Juvenile quite nicely at Zia from the rail from a tracking trip back around two turns again i'll give him a shot at nine two to possibly upset here and also um giving a shot to the um number five horse here who is one in a one in vermilion for esteban martinez he won the race here on the 29th of january quite nicely won the lowest in the fog uh fraturity at uh a juvenile at turf paradise uh, in december quite nicely back around two turns i'm gonna give this horse a shot at six twin also um so to recount my selection for the 10th from sunland it's the grade three six hundred thousand sunland park derby let's take the three horse fort bragg give kudos to the one horse how did we do that and the one horse one in vermilion three one five six super three one five to end off the multi races so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody